Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, you will learn how to color title of thesis, title of chapters, sections, subsections, equations, or a part of a text within your LaTeX document. So let's begin. How can we do this? The first thing you need to add a package for adding colors to your text there are different packages for adding color to your latex document but i would suggest to use x color however the x color have some limited uh, options for adding colors if you are interested to add more colors i would suggest you to add an optional argument to the x color package which i'm writing over here dvips names this optional argument to the package X color allows you to choose uh, different colors from many available options. However, for a normal document, the X color package with this optional argument is sufficient. Now let us move how can we add colors. Before going into further detail, I want to first build the document to let you see what the uh, title of my document is. And the title is black by default. I want to change the color of the title of my document. That I can do by adding, I add a command color with an argument orange. If I build the document now, so the color of the title is turned orange. Remember, when you add the color in this form of the command, this command applies to the whole environment. For example, the title over here is written within certain environment, so everything inside the center environment will be colored orange. If you see here, only the color of the title is changed and it hasn't affected the color of the rest of the text on this page. Similarly, if I want to change the color of a chapter, which I have written over here as green, this is the chapter command. So on a new page, we have a chapter and I have added color green to it. This is the first chapter of my document. Since I'm writing the color command inside the environment of chapter, therefore, this will change only the text inside this environment will and will leave the rest of the text unaffected additionally i'm adding the command color with color red inside the argument inside the section environment so if i build the documents only the colors within the given environment would be changed as per the command that is one green color and the other red color if i build the document you see here the title of the chapter is green and the title of the section is red. Similarly, if I want to change the color of an itemized list, that is a bullet list, I just need to add the color command just below the begin command like I'm doing at this position. If I build the document and I'm giving color violet, every bullet will be turned violet. You see over here the color of bullet is turned violet. So the color that I am adding over here is applied to everything inside the itemized environment. On the other hand, if I want to color only one item out of the list, then I need to add another command which I am writing with text color and it takes two arguments, one for the color and the other argument enclose the text that need to be colored if i build the document now you see the rest of the bullets in the list are black and only the center one is color red so if you want to color a portion of text within a given environment you just need to include the text inside curly breakers as the second argument and add the command text color in in the first argument of the command text color you need to mention the name of the color like i'm writing over here is red the same procedure applies to equations for example i'm writing an equation over here under the align environment and i add the color command with color green 
This color command will turn the color of the whole equation under the align environment green. To see this, let me build the document. Okay, you see now the equation is turned green. If I want to change the color of a part of the equation, then I need to deactivate this command. And for example, I want to turn the first part on the right green, then again I have to add this command text color then green and then enclose the first part of the equation on the right within curly breakers like I'm doing over here. Now if I build the document only the first part on the right will be turned green like you see over here and the rest part of the equation is black which is the default color of LaTeX. So this way you can add colors to your documents in LaTeX. If you haven't yet subscribed to Safi Max, kindly support the channel through your subscriptions. Thanks for watching.